Hi friends, it's Mr. Mark again. Thank you so much for inviting me to be a part of your faith community so that we can explore healing together through this season of Lent and hopefully through the entire year of 2021. Oh wow, can we use some healing. And normally this would be the, the part where I would say, here's what I want you to get ready and we'll need it later, but I want to wait because I'm going to show you in just a few minutes what we're going to do. For now, I'd like us to join together in that very healing act of breathing together, really inviting the healing power of that spirit breath into our bodies so God can heal us from the inside out. Let's all breathe in through the nose. One more time. I love to play. Do you like to play? And I don't just like to play. I need to play. We all need to play. Play isn't just for fun. Play brings joy. Play reminds us of the power of being in the moment. Play is a spirit-filled opportunity to see something not simply for what it is, but for what it can be. Play is about possibilities. And, you know, during hard times like this, and this past year has been a very hard time, we can get really focused on all that we don't have. We can get focused on all the things that we don't have access to that, were, that aren't available to us. And we can start to dwell on those limitations that we didn't ask for, but are a very real part of our lives. But God has placed something really powerful in us. A healing power. The power of creativity. Now, we remember in our Bible that we are created in the image of a creator. To be created in the image of a creator is to be creative. Stay with me, I'm going to say that one more time. To be created in the image of a creator is to be creative. We all have that creative ability in us to, to see something not simply for what it is, but for what it can be, to see possibilities. And, you know, sometimes when we feel so limited, it, it, you may think, well, now we can't be creative now because we don't have anything. Do you know limitations actually help us be even more creative? So let's flex some of those creative muscles that God gave us. And here's what I did and what I'm going to invite you to do at the end of our time together. I got a bin and I went around on what I call a stuff safari. And here's what you do. Just go around the house looking for little odds and ends, maybe old, some old things, some new things, some things that are headed for the recycle bin. And make sure you have your grown-ups permission. Nothing sharp or breakable or flammable. Um, no pets, please, but go find some different things around it and go on a stuff safari, bring back a bin, and then together with, with maybe your family or just you on your own time, see what you can make of some of the different objects that you found on your stuff safari. So here's an orange plate. What do you, what do you think that could be? I think it could be a sun or a giant orange is trying to eat my head. Or, hmm, what about this? There's an oven mitt. Gee, I wonder what Bible story I could tell with the oven mitt. Or, ooh, look at this. Huh. Ooh. So, friends, try this at home. Try this at home. Go on a stuff safari around the house. Gather things together. Maybe you can find enough things that you can put on a puppet show for your whole family. And with so many things closed, it's important to remember to stay open, to keep our hearts open, to keep our minds open to all the possibilities that God has put in us. Let us play and let us pray because play can be a very healing act, and so can prayer. We're going to use the prayer that we've been using through most of our time of Lent. It's an echo prayer. I'll say part, and I'll do a motion for some things, and you simply echo me. Let us pray. <laughs> Loving God, we come to you with hearts, hands, 
minds, and souls in need of your healing touch. Heal us from the inside out. So that we may reach out to help heal your world. Amen. And you know, one way we can help heal God's amazing world is by finding those recyclable things or things that were headed for the trash that we can use to keep out of landfills, to have fun with, to play with, to see the possibilities. So go play, go on a stuff safari, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.